Yo, what's good, everybody? So today I'm going to be reacting to my first USA Boxing amateur fight. So I had my first fight at the age of 34 years old. First and foremost, never let anyone tell you that you are too old for something. Never stop pursuing your goals. For those of you all who have been following me for a while, you all will know that my background is in the bodybuilding. But on my bucket list, I always wanted to learn boxing and to have an official amateur boxing match. Now, I did come over to boxing with strength from bodybuilding, so I had to train my body for performance so that I can get acclimated to boxing. I lifted a lot less weights, so that's why you all see me a lot smaller now than I used to be in the past. But safe to say, I think my training in bodybuilding did help me with having strength going over into boxing. Now, it did make me extremely slow. I was not very mobile to start off, and my flexibility was trash, to be honest. So we're going to take a look at my first fight. I'm going to talk about things I think I did well, things that I could improve on. And we will have a very valuable lesson about trash talking in the video today because I think it's very important to be humble in life. Some people have to find that way. Some people have to find that out the hard way, unfortunately. But throughout life and all that I've learned, I know that being humble is extremely important. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the fight. So it's amateur boxing match. We have, uh, it's three rounds, two minutes per round. And then it is going to be one minute break in between the rounds. Go ahead, get rocking now. So he's starting off southpaw stance. Now I'm just trying to keep him off with the jab. Oh, there we go. Nice right hand I land there. And, you know, he's coming out very aggressive. And, honestly, when he came out aggressive like that, I thought he was going to get gassed out immediately. That's it. Yeah, as you all can see, he's he's throwing, trying to, you know, bring that pressure early on. I'm just moving around, working the jab, working body, working head. Touch him. <laughs> and I'm just moving around because I know he's trying to hey, get into baby, a, keep touching, baby. Keep touching. a keep trading touching. war here. Keep and just for additional keep info, go. this fight is at the gym where he trains it, at. So this was not a crowd that was friendly towards me by any means, hey, but I have people that go to my gym they came out to support me the owner of the gym was there to support so i did have my support system there as well obviously my wife was there yes sir yes sir you all see the ref was telling him to stop talking he was talking even before the fight i can't repeat what he said because my video will probably get flagged but you know i'm just letting him talk there you go. We just let him talk and we just work. There we go. He caught me with a nice right hand there. Move out the way. No need to stand there and take Back unnecessary the shots. The it's boxing, so we're going to get caught. Back you know, he keep coming forward. Back to the jab, Keith. Back to the jab, baby. That's it. All right, so that's the first round. I gave myself that first round. I think I did more, landed more shots, more moving. He was trying to land the big shots there. Shout out to my coach, Coach Gary there. Shout out to my boy Chino. You all seen Chino on the channel. He was working my corner as well. So round one is done. So you all can let me know what you all think of that first round. Like I said, I gave myself the first round, I had better ring generalship, moving around, and I landed the cleaner shots. So that's just one side of the gym showing. Now behind where uh, Danny's recording, it's a whole another section of people. 
Hello? So it was a very decent crowd in there, and then they had the big fans up top, so it was very hot in there. All right, round two. So he's some more southpaw stance. I think they were just like somebody in his corner, his coach was like on the ring or something. Yeah, so we got up. There you go. Control the ring. Keep, keep just control moving, the ring. trying to control that control ring, control the, ring, the ring. distance. Use that jab, and then you know he's aggressive. So a lot of times, yeah. So we get in an exchange here. So I got distracted by the exchange, but you know he's doing a better job of controlling the distance now. And then we get in an exchange, so I'm exchanging with him because you know he's coming at me, so I got to come back. Now he switches stands, so this is something that is very rare for your first fight to come out there with somebody that's switching stance. There you go. But I did research after the fight and I found out that this guy actually did have previous fights. They just weren't USA boxing fights. Again, Keith, get it back. Then he called me there, called me with a nice shot, knocked me back. He's talking trash, shook his head. I mean it's boxing. We get caught. We just get that lick back. And then you obviously, I can't repeat what was said, but you hear his fr uh, friends or family in the background cheering him on, saying what they saying what they feel about the fight. But uh, one thing about me, I'm from the Show Me State. I'm from Missouri, so I'm from the Show Me State, so we don't need to do a lot of talking. You gotta gotta show me. All right, so that was round two. So I give him round two. He landed the bigger shots. Uh, I think it was close up until that um, probably the last 15 seconds when he caught me with that good shot. I stumbled back. His friends and and family or whoever they are got extremely excited. So at this right at this point, people were telling him, you know, knock him out, telling him to knock me out. I guess they thought that I was done for. So his friends are telling him to set me up with the uppercut <clears throat> and to press me. So this round three, we're going to see how well that works out for him. So now it's time to exchange. So now he's coming out hard, throwing shots, throwing big shots. So at this point, you know, he's trying to knock me out. So... We get to a point where it's see the fight or flight. More punches, More punches. More so he just loading up. Again, again, Keith. Again. All right, now at this point, he's super aggressive. Think he's going to knock me out. Catch me with a good shot there. Again, Keith. Boom, there's a three, off into the ropes, body, boom, head, good night. In the blink of an eye. In the blink of an eye. Then he gets up, he hits the stanky leg. The judges tell the ref to wave it off because they see him stumbling. They see his eyes rolling his head. Then after the fight, you know, you're supposed to shake up with your opponent. But this guy here was a bad sport. 
he beat on the ring, he left out the ring. Then eventually he got back in and shook up with me. Shout out to my coach, Coach Gary right there. Eventually he got in the ring and shook up with me, but it was because somebody from his corner made him do it and he didn't, you know, hand me my trophy or anything. So once again, I'm from the Show Me State and respect to anybody that does combat sports. Um, lesson here is never let anybody Body tell you what you cannot do or what you can accomplish. Work hard towards your goals, whatever your dreams may be. I came from an entire different background, had to train my body in a very, very different manner, which was very uncomfortable. I had to get acclimated to boxing. But as you all can see, first USA boxing fight, I got a knockout which is not easy to do, especially considering we're wearing headgear. And as I said, this guy has been fighting. I found a YouTube video where it was a fight from like 2020 that he was in, and it's 2023 now. So I gave him the first round. Well, I gave myself the first round. I gave him the second round. And then obviously third round, knocked him out. Judges told the ref, nope, stop the fight. So, moral of the story, stay humble. This guy was talking cash. He was talking trash. His supporters were talking trash. But like I said, I'm from the show me state. We don't need to do a lot of talking. We just handle business. So, let me know what you all think of the fight. Now, I'm getting back to putting on muscle. I'm still training boxing, but not sure if I'll be stepping in the ring to fight again. I am very happy with the results here. I appreciate the support along the journey. Everybody who followed me on the road to the ring, you know, it was it was a success and we're going to continue to work. All right, I'll catch you on the next video. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Catch you on the next one. Peace.